Thursday update. This week, we want to focus on a few things. We want to be able to talk about an upcoming Poema Connects event, some of the service opportunities that are continuing that more and more of you are doing, and some opportunities for you to be involved in the weekly calendar. First, Poema. On Saturday, May 16th at 7 p.m., Poema will be hosting what they're calling a Poema Connect. This is a chance for the women of our church to gather together in a Zoom meeting. Uh, ahead of time, uh, listen to the teaching that's going to be focused on. That's a teaching by uh, a Dallas Bible teacher, Jen Wilkin. Uh, it's recorded from a women's conference that she did. The teaching focuses on Psalm 139. The link for that will be in the show more description below this video. The goal is that people will watch the video and engage in some questions ahead of time uh, to be able to break out into smaller groups and share. Uh, the PDF of those questions is also listed in the show more below this video. All the info is on the planning center. If you're not part of the planning center, you really should be, especially now that so much more is electronic. So to do that, reach out to Dennis Gardner, dennis at terranovachurch.org. Serving is still very much alive and well as the church is alive and well. I think it's been a good moment for us to realize that the church is not the space in which we gather. Uh, it's not just that hour that we have or hour and a half that we would have when we were at Revolution Hall and worshiping. Uh, the church is much more. Uh, the church is the saints gathered together for worship, even if that's spread out. The, the, the church are saints who are being transformed more and more into the image of Jesus in their hearts as he takes residence, as we submit to the kingdom of God, as the prayers that the Lord taught us of thy kingdom come, thy will be done, that connection of us submitting to the kingdom becomes more realized, and also to serving as the church reaches out to those who are in need, which historically the church has done. Uh, our serving continues in the capital district, uh, primarily, we're reaching out to the Salvation Army and the Troy Boys and Girls Club of the Capital District and supporting in the good work that they do. We are having more and more people join in to serve. I'd encourage you, if you want to do that, uh, to reach out to Bill Cuthbertson, our pastor of discipleship, bill at terranovachurch.org. You can catch some of the videos of people serving on our YouTube channel and on Facebook. Lastly, our calendar. Uh, we're trying to live out some repeated rhythms to help us have a sense of life together in this time of uh, pause, lockdown, separation. Uh, we begin the first day of the week on Sunday, as always, recognizing the Lord's Day, the day in which Jesus of Nazareth rose from the dead, having paid for our sins on the cross, proclaimed that they were forgiven and that he had come to rule. So we, we take time on Sunday, we sit down in our homes, and we watch that uh, YouTube video of Sunday worship. We participate in worship, in hearing the word, and in communion and prayer. I know some people are watching these as live watch parties, which is great. Uh, as things are lessened in restrictions, we may find that we're able to watch those in homes, perhaps as our small group or some other small grouping to be able to have worship with other believers. On Mondays, we're trying to connect more with one another, just to hear stories like we used to. It might be a skill that people have. I know upcoming, and I'm excited about this one. My wife and I have already watched it uh, because I was doing the editing on it. Um, Isabel Boscamora will be doing floral design basics. Isabel is a professional floral designer. We have people who have shared just what their families are doing during lockdown, just so that we can have that informal time together of seeing people's families again. Um, we have people who are going to be sharing other hobbies and testimonies of what the Lord has done in their life. Those spots are filling up uh, pretty much through June at this point, but we want to be able to have people in still. Uh, if you would like to do that, to share a, a spiritual life testimony, to share a skill, or just what's going on in your world, would you please reach out to either me, Ed at TerranovaChurch.org, or uh, Rob Keparudis, our worship arts pastor, Rob at TerranovaChurch.org. On Tuesday, people are sharing devotional thoughts from the scripture, short format, three to seven minutes, just something to encourage us in, in between the, the days of the week before we gather back on Sundays. On Wednesdays, we are encouraged by a time of worship uh, that people from Terra are putting together. Also with that, if you would like to do that, the time is now to be able to get on that schedule. Uh, spots are filling up 
Rob at TerranovaChurch.org is your contact for that. On Thursdays, we have these updates. Fridays are flashback day, where we're just putting up some pieces of Terra Past for us to be able to enjoy. On Saturdays, we have nothing scheduled. Of course, throughout the week, we're putting up other pieces of information, videos, uh, interviews, and content so that we can stay connected. And that would bring us back around to the top of the batting order with Sunday. The Apostle John, the one who wrote the Gospel of John and the three shorter epistles to the church that bear his name and the number sequencing those, uh, is, is called sometimes the Apostle of Love. He, he's the one who is referred to in the third person as the, the Apostle that Jesus loved, who's leaning on him during the time at the Passover supper. And it, it's John who we're told later in his life when he's in exile on the island of Patmos, as Christians would come to him uh, to worship with him, asked of him on, on one particular Lord's Day, tell us something new. And his response was, love one another. That's all there is. He would write this in 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, and it's what I want to leave you with today, Tara. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Uh, I want to encourage you in this pause to pause on all the things that could obsess us and just let the Lord love you well. And from that great love, love one another. Mm-hmm.